Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome to part two, prepping your butterfly. Now, the idea behind this whole thing is to be able to manipulate and move your butterfly's wings into the position that you want them for display. Now, if your butterfly just died, you're in luck and you can skip this whole video because your butterfly's wings are very flexible and floppy and very easily movable. Now, you do need to watch this part if you're like me and the butterfly you found died a few days ago. Because what happens is, the butterfly's blood and guts all dries up and it becomes very stiff and very rigid and you can't move it or do much of anything with it at all. Now, if, you, if your butterfly is freshly dead and you can't get to it right away, put it in a Ziploc baggie and pop it in the freezer. I wouldn't leave it in there for more than a couple weeks because it will dry out eventually, but for just a few days until you can get to it, the freezer will keep it fresh. Now, if you're in my boat and your butterfly needs to be reanimated or relaxed, we're going to make what is called a relaxing chamber. So the supplies that you may or may not need from the first video, you, may, you will need them. <laughs> now, you're going to take your Tupperware container and your paper towels. Fold up the paper towels, put them in the bottom. You're going to wet them. Now you don't want them sopping wet, you just want them thoroughly moistened. So I like to take a spray bottle and spray it until I feel like it's soaked all of the paper towels. Now, you're going to then take your pine saw or Lysol or whatever you're using and apply a couple of drops to the wet paper towels. Just a few drops, not much at all. This acts as a mold inhibitor to prevent mold from growing on the butterfly for the amount of time that it's in there. Now, if you forget about it and leave it in there for weeks, it will mold. It will basically disintegrate, so stay on top of it. Don't forget about it. You can take your window screen and place it on top of your paper towels. This acts as a barrier between the butterfly and the wet paper towels to make sure it doesn't get too wet. Then you're going to take your butterfly, place it on top of the window screen. Then you take your lid and you pop on the lid. Now, you're not going to open it for at least 24 hours and probably more. You can check it after 24 hours, but usually, depending on how stiff your butterfly is, it's going to take about 48 hours. So if you check it after 24 hours and it's movable and it's flexible and floppy, it's ready to go. If not, you need to put it back in for another day. Don't want to leave it for much longer than three, maybe four days because it will start to disintegrate and just get way too wet and mold. So, once your butterfly is all reanimated and ready to go, we can move on to part three, spreading your butterfly. So check me out in the next video.